in kennels when you go away on holidays. But a new state-of-the-art pet country club opened its doors at Easter and it just might have found the answer. Tina has the story. Roberta Curran is off on holiday, but before she goes, she's to leave Blake, her three-year-old Great Dane, into the kennels. My animal lovers everywhere will know that this can be rather unpleasant. Leaving your pet for a couple of weeks while you go off and enjoy yourself can be very stressful, both for animal and owner. And it was for this very reason that brothers David and Bill McQuillan set up their five-star pet country club at their home in Muckamore, which amongst other facilities offers something quite unique to Ireland. Owners like Roberta can now log on to the internet and via a webcam system see their pets whenever they want. Clients, when they leave their pet, can look in from wherever they are in the world if they have access to uh, a computer. And today, in most hotels in the foyer, for example, that for a small fee you can use an internet service. Customers are delighted and I should stress that the webcams are on the run side of the kenneling. And we have had customers ring us from America to say, you wouldn't go in and wake and wee Jack and bring him from the sleeping side into the run side so as we can see him. And we also offering a texting service whereby we text our clients and let them know that their pet's settled and it's eating and whatever. And we've got some responses back from the owners to say, not only have you contacted us, but it's great to know that our dog has learned how to text. <laughs> <laughs> The business has been a labour of love for the brothers, who up until three years ago were farmers. They decided to open the kennels when Bill took ill. He had to have a liver transplant following cancer. They were helped along the way by money from an EU programme for peace and reconciliation through the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development. In fact, one of 170 local businesses across Northern Ireland to be offered such funding. We've always had animals around us. Uh, and Whenever I took the illness, I discovered that I knew I was going to have to get rid of my herd of cattle because I wasn't able to look after them the way that I, I normally would have. Uh, two weeks after I had the transplant, I then put pen to paper uh, because I knew I had to get my mind off illness and onto something with, you know, life. There is life after transplantation. And fortunately, David was with me on it on every stretch of the way. Bally Harvey really is a family-run business, with niece Natalie, who's kennel manager, helping in this state-of-the-art grooming parlour, complete with drying cabinets from Spain, and in the luxurious kennels with underfloor heating. When it first opened its doors, the business catered for 14 dogs, but now it can accommodate 75 dogs plus 32 cats, other smaller animals, and also has a livery for horses. But it's the webcam facility that Roberta Curran feels is really invaluable. I personally have found it so stressful that my husband and I have not been on holidays since 1989 until these kennels opened. So this year we put all our dogs in for two weeks and everybody got on very well so it's been very successful and it's taken the stress out of it and hopefully we'll get another holiday in the near future. Some have said when they go on holiday, Bally Harvey is like a holiday camp for their pets with even the odd peacock looking very proud to be a guest there. Excellent idea and I had such a lovely morning with the brothers there at uh, the kennels. Now still to come in the programme, remember Herbie the Volkswagen Beetle? Well we report on his comeback in the new movie Herbie Unloaded. And staying with entertainment.